When you begin living for Jesus Christ, some people may believe everything is going to be easy. Everything is going to be fine. Everything, hey, no more challenges. This is not true. I believe when you begin living for Jesus Christ, you are going to be challenged. I believe you are going to be tested, trialed, or whatever else. Some people may get discouraged from living for Jesus Christ because of may be increased problems. What if you chose to, when you get into problems, what if you chose to stick with Jesus Christ, ask for his help, and continue following his rules? Hmm? What use is it coming back to Jesus Christ, encounter some trouble, then fall back into sin, stay there for a while, come back to Jesus Christ, and repeat that process. How long have you been repeating that process? I think it is time to pass that level. Not saying we all are perfect, but I believe some of us may encounter pretty much similar situations, but continue to fail in that area. I hope this makes sense. Living for Jesus Christ is not a cakewalk. It is not like going to the ice cream shop or the candy store. It is not. I believe the purpose of why, one of the purposes, probably that is what I should say, I believe one of the purposes of why we are on this earth is to prove our loyalty to God. So if our loyalty isn't tested, like how can we prove that we will be loyal to God no matter what unless we are tested? You can say you love me. You can say you will do anything for me, but how would I know unless the situation occurs or something happens to where you have to prove it? Huh? Please tell me. As you may know, some people can say words, but not really mean it only words. So I believe we are here to show our loyalty to God. And I think that is one of the reasons why we may go through so much stuff. Listen now, when you begin living for Jesus Christ, be prepared for stuff to happen for trouble to come. Not to say that you should fear it or you should be paranoid, no. Be ready to go by the Bible to conquer whatever issue that you may encounter. I hope this makes sense. Why should I continue to fall back into sin at the first sign of trouble? Why? 
Like, you know, there is grade one, grade two, grade three, four, five, six. Why am I continuing to fail at grade one? Hmm? It has been, in a general example, not saying it is true about me, it has been five years and I am continuing to fail at grade one. Why, why am I failing still at grade one? Why haven't I elevated higher than grade one? Maybe I should be at grade three. Maybe five? Why is it taking me so long to pass grade one? Maybe I am not trusting in God and thinking, hey, living for Jesus Christ is too difficult, so let me go my own way, even though it hasn't worked for me in five years. Ah. Uh. When you live for Jesus Christ, you are going to suffer. I know some people may not like suffering. I don't. But you are going to suffer in some type of way. But from what the Bible says, we can handle it. Whatever God puts on us, if we are living for uh, him, we can handle it. Right? It's like some years ago, not saying I am perfect. Please don't even think that. Years ago, there were certain things I continued to repeat over and over and over again. I would come to Jesus, but it was like clockwork, I would say. Like I would continue to fail. Like for some reason, I could not conquer particular things. When you are having trouble in conquering something, ask Jesus Christ for help. Like, you may believe if you say it like, Jesus, please help me, like you don't really hear an answer, so you may believe God has not hurt you or God is not considering your request. Are you looking at God or are you perceiving God as a human? As if you don't hear like a verbal response then he has not acknowledged you or he is not going to fulfill your request. Are you seeing God as an earthly man who operates in earthly ways? Are you seeing God in that way? Please don't. Even if you have to ask God for help 100 days straight, 2,000 days straight, 20 years straight, ask God for help. Right? If you are struggling in something and you know you can't conquer whatever you are going through on your own, why not ask God for help? Why not? You don't trust God that he is going to help you? You believe that 
you are too bad for God to help you? I hope this is making sense. When you live for Jesus Christ, expect resistance, expect challenges, expect, what word am I looking for? Snares. I was going to say hurdles, but maybe that doesn't make sense. But expect things to come in your path that may disturb you myself i am involved with someone and it's like whatever that person gets in trouble with it's like i am <laughs> getting in trouble with that too imagine that but i've been in this for a while now and I usually know how it goes. Trouble comes, I pray about it, maybe I will fast, continue to pray, continue to pray, problem works itself out or whatever else like that. It usually goes like that. So as long as I keep my trust in God, I continue to try to do what is right according to the Bible. As long as I am asking for his help and stuff like that, the problem gets solved. Yes, I may, you know, get hurt, emotionally hurt. I may cry, I may get mad or irritated or whatever else, but the problem works itself out or maybe I have to do this and that, but ultimately problem pretty much gone or whatever else like that. Whoever told you when you become a Christian, your problems are over is so wrong. The Bible doesn't even say that. I believe there is a verse, I don't have it on me right now, something like, for those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Maybe I am not saying it completely right, but I believe in that aspect that is correct. So if we are going to suffer persecution, what does that mean? Trouble, ill treatment, right? Some people may say Jesus Christ is only all about love and stuff like that. Perhaps you are not reading the Bible too well. Because what I see, I see some other things in God's character as well. Not only love. I see judgment and punishment and stuff in that nature. So if you start having trouble when you give your life to Jesus Christ, that is normal. That is normal. Well, I think living for God is not for me, so I am... That makes no sense. Living for God is for you. You just have the wrong idea of what living for God is. No matter what happens, no matter how much trouble comes your way, don't give up on Jesus Christ. Like, uh, was it this mo morning or last night? Some stuff came my way then. But I know if I stay patient, if I have self-control, pray to God, and do what is right, 
the problem is going to be solved. I am not going to continue leaving Jesus Christ every time I get into an issue because in that case, I would be leaving him often. Not saying I am perfect. I have my faults. But let's pass first grade. Huh? Let's pass second and third. How old are you now? Maybe 50, 60? Like, well, let me not go into there. But we need to graduate. Not saying I'm, I am on this high level way up here. No. But let's do better. Let me stop here. God bless you.